heading to the Red Keep. Looks a little more off-white to me, but that's okay. Ah! Attack by a bird. So in this vlog, we head to Dubrovnik, which is home of Game of Thrones, one of our favorite shows. Holly figured out how to get to all the cool filming locations using the Dubrovnik card. Dubrovnik card. So she'll talk about how to do all that. One thing you guys should know about me is that I had never seen Game of Thrones before the final season came out. So we binge watched all the, what was it, six or seven? Five, se six seasons before the seventh started. I think that's right. Correct us if we're wrong down below. Yeah, but so we binge watched, <laughs> we'll say six, six seasons. Perfect. It was super fun to watch all of them. I felt like I was finally being Included on like this huge cultural thing that everyone talked about and I never knew what was going on. So then to actually be there and see like the steps where you know the oh, yeah. red keep were was were was and you know I was just unbelievable to relate that to what we had seen in the show that really was like core to our summer. Before we show you what we did while visiting Dubrovnik have something super fun for us to do. We are gonna take a- I have no idea what this is. We're gonna take a quiz to find out which Game of Thrones character we are. We'll share the link to this quiz in the description so y'all can take it too. Let us know which characters you get. Okay, we'll be back in a second. Okay. Off to King's Landing we go.
package did you get? I got the lovely Miss Daenerys Targaryen. She wasn't so lovely in the end. Hey, you know, let bygones be bygones. Why, who'd you get? Someone much. Jon Snow? Sexier. What? <laughs> yeah, I could see that. I mean, you are smart and witty and all the above, and everybody does love you. And now, a little bit about the Dubrovnik card. Whether you're big Game of Thrones fans like us, or you really want to make sure that you see all of the highlights, I'm going to take you through the Dubrovnik card. We used the Dubrovnik card while visiting the city to make sure that we saw all the sites um, of Game of Thrones filming, as well as like some of the highlights around the city. We did only have one day there, so this was definitely the best way to maximize our time in the city. So I'm going to take you over to the computer where we're actually going to go through the different passes. As you can see here, they have a few different offerings. They have one days, three days, or seven days. We did not purchase ahead of time. I was afraid that the weather might change by the time we got there. And then once we were on the cruise ship, we didn't really have a whole lot of internet. So I recommend if you know ahead of time that you're going to be in the city and definitely want to buy this or can get online the day before you're going to be visiting to purchase the card ahead of time. By the time we got into the city, we had to wait in a pretty long line of all the other tourists and people getting off our cruise ship buying tickets. You might even get a discount for buying ahead of time. So if you have the ability to just buy ahead of time and then go straight into the city, it's going to be your best option. With the Dubrovnik card, you get into a lot of different destinations throughout the city, as well as some free transportation on their buses. And you also get access to a few attractions outside of the city. So let's look at what's included. The biggest thing is that you do get into the Dubrovnik city walls. So that's what we were doing in the beginning. You like walk around. Dubrovnik is actually a walled city. With the Dubrovnik card, you get to go up on the walls and walk for free. That's actually where you'll see the House of the Undying from Game of Thrones. So you can't go inside, um, we don't all have magical powers, but you can walk around the outside and it's actually one of the quieter spots on the wall. The walk itself takes about two hours and that's what's stopping and getting some pictures. There's not a whole lot up there. There are a few little like drink stands and whatnot along the way. Um, but if you're looking for food or shops, you can take one of the many exits down. The next thing that the Dubrovnik card includes is the Cultural History Museum. So you go inside, you walk through the museum, but then when you get into the center plaza is where you're going to see the famous stairs from Karth, where Khaleesi, um, if you'll remember, was walking down the stairs and we reenacted that very poorly. Um, but it's really beautiful in there and it's a great place to escape the crazy city. People who are just buying tickets to walk the wall obviously do not get into this museum, so it's a lot less crowded, we found, than the rest of the city. Um, you get a few other like art galleries, you get the Museum of Modern Art. Like I said, there's a lot to see in the city and if you're only there for one day, I would start with walking the walls and then see what you have time left to do. The third place that's actually not listed on the website as being included in the Dubrovnik card is the Big Four, which is where they filmed a lot of the scenes from the Red Keep. You do have to climb a lot of stairs to get up there, so just be mindful of that. Um, it is outside of the city and kind of around the harbor on the other side. It was really pretty, another place that we could have spent a few hours and there definitely weren't as many crowds, um, but that's kind of you know, not known, it's, it's obviously not on the website. Looking at how these tickets are priced, like I said, we did the one day card here, um, and it does look like there is a savings of 10%. So if you know for sure you're gonna go, just buy it online. Everything in Croatia is priced in kunas, I believe it's called. So 225 Croatian kunas is about $34. So it is kind of pricey. Okay, so looking at the normal price, if you were just gonna walk the walls and not buy this ticket, it's 200 kunas per person. So for an extra 25 kunas, which is just a few dollars, you get to go into the few museums, um, and you get free bus transportation, which is amazing if you're planning to leave the city. So I highly recommend doing the card. Like I said, there is a three day and a seven day option. 
If you think you'll be there for a few days, it might be worth getting the three day ticket. In addition to all the places that you do get in for free with this card, transportation for free, you also get discounts at a lot of local activities, restaurants, shopping areas. So that's what's included in the Dubrovnik card. However, we did see a lot of other sites such as the Shameful Stairs as I named them um, and a few other filming locations throughout the city. Those are all free to see. You don't even need the walls to get. So if you're looking to just like see those quick highlights and then do other things, you honestly don't need any tickets. But like I said, you don't have to be a Game of Thrones fan to enjoy Dubrovnik and you definitely don't have to be a Game of Thrones fan to get use out of this ticket. It really is for the everyday traveler. No matter what you do, um, we recommend checking out the wall and then just really exploring the city. You'll get a taste for where tourism has really impacted Dubrovnik. Obviously, the show brought a ton of tourists wanting to see the filming locations, but the deeper you get into the city, you'll start to see people that have lived there for, for forever. You know, we were walking the wall and you see a woman outside hanging her laundry and it's like, oh yeah, like this, is, this isn't this is a Hollywood set. This is where people live and there's a lot of culture here. I hope this video has helped. If you have any questions about the Dubrovnik card, feel free to ask them below. Um, or if you have any questions about maybe some secret Game of Thrones spots that you've read about online or just anything you'd like to know about Dubrovnik or travels, um, let us know in the comments. We'll see you next time. I'm gonna go with mine's not so true, but... <laughs> Sarcastic, wise, and more often than not, drunk. The best <laughs> things come in small packages. <laughs> I mean, you are kinda tiny. Street of what? Dubrov. The dirty D. Bum bum ba da dum bum ba da dum bum ba da dum bum ba da dum bum ba da bum bum ba da bum bum ba da bum 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 bum